Hi, I am Partho Pratim Karan and welcome to Product Management Consulting Platform. Today I will be going to share one story with you guys. Long back I was asked how will you design Facebook for kids? So in today's talk or today's session I will be going to share how the way I drill down the problem statement and come up with that solution approach. You could guess what was my first reaction while I listened Facebook for kids. Yes, my first reaction was like that kids. If kids, what would be the age range for those users? After a while, I got the answer. The age range would be 7 to 14 years. And the beauty of that problem statement was like I had to share my thoughts on the same time while I was asked to design Facebook for kids. You can see over here how the way I drill down the problem statement into multiple areas like user account creation, recommendations, friends, groups, pages, events, games, application in nature, device support, login session, log out, password and its recovery mechanism, UI, UX part and the most critical area contain verification or validation. I will show you what high level thoughts I shared then. Now we will be talking about user account creation. Here I am categorizing that entire age range into two groups. 7 to 10 comes under group 1 and 11 to 14 comes under group 2. For group 1 user, while they are about to create their Facebook account, the required unique identifiers like mobile number, email ID might not be available with them. So in that case, their parents account could be used to create those sub accounts for kids or child. And while they will be growing up, there would be another option to convert those kids account or child's account into independent Facebook account entity as well. Now we will be getting into group 2 members. So for group 2 we are considering for this age range most of the user who are about to create their Facebook account might all the information available with them like user identifier, email ID, mobile number, age specification, full name, combination of first name and last name, gender, male or female, education details, location, language, profile picture, cover picture, account authentication mechanism. These all components or area we need to take care of. Now we will be looking into recommendation part, recommendation of contents. Here I am categorizing again that recommendation part into two areas like generic or default recommendation and another one would be personalized recommendation. So for generic recommendation comes under welcome contents, initial recommendation depends on areas like age range, gender, location, education, demographic culture, language and other various points. And while you are getting into personalized recommendation, it would be considered all the generic or default recommendation areas along with search histories, watch histories, likings, Hit maps, 
session timing and much more areas would be comes under consideration while you are developing that personalized recommendation now we will be talking about friends component add friends or send friend request option friend suggestion recommendation engine also develop based on age gender education location likings similarity and closeness of mindset mix and match combination mutual friends and lot more areas would be involved to develop friend suggestion recommendation engine group component group creation group suggestions within it various points are involved like create group group suggestion from other groups where your friends or mutual friends already belonging using personalized data points age gender education location likings similarity and closeness of mindset mapping mix and match combination continuous interaction across members these all are included over group component page component within it create page showcase your credibility or extracurricular activities continuous interaction send page invitation sometimes page suggestions from your friends page or mutual friends page or somewhere else specification declaration like your page is related to what education sports extracurricular activities or etc these all are comes under page component events and games component for events event option would be available to organize or perform various pre-planned activities and for games categorized games also would be available based on gender age personalized historical data points and so on application in nature and device support application mobile application desktop version application for mobile it could be ios application it could be android application or sometimes windows application and desktop version application like mac os supported application windows os supported application like that web version browser supported web version like various browser like safari mozilla firefox google chrome and various other browser would be supported the web version of this application device support device like mobile desktop tablet these would be compatible for this application or web version now we'll be talking about logged in session and logged out so for logged in session device limit for a single user can be logged in from how many devices another one what would be the standard session timing while the user would be idle for a particular device or devices authorized login factors and for logged out manual logout is possible and another process being idle till threshold time limit boost that this account automatically 
logged out from the respective device or devices. Password and its recovery mechanism. It could be the normal process as usual or else parents account could help on this. If the account create from the parents account as a sub account. UI and UX part. UI UX would be much more simple and advanced to reach any final goal. Means it should take most less interaction to do something. Now we will be talking about content verification or validation part. It's most important area. Why? Because the age range is very much sensitive from 7 years to 14 years. So, before publishing any kind of post, the validation check is must needed. If you consider anyone create a fake kids account and share sensitive or offensive posts. So, to handle such scenarios or violations, Platform should be capable enough and well structured. What I told or discussed till right now, this might not be complete or right approach. But what I wanted to show you over here, how to drill down any problem statement during your product interviews or discussions. Likewise, you can split down any problem statement and address those micro areas. It will always helpful to come up with better solution approach in your real life problems. Hey guys, we are almost done with today's session or today's discussion. Please feel free to write me your suggestions, your queries, your comments or your feedback. Please feel free. I will be glad to answer all those. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.